This parlor looks quite extravagant, perhaps more so than the foyer, which is more grand, I suppose. Finely decorated, this particular room represents more of a gilded cage. This is where Mrs. Roberson would hold tea and calling hours when she wasn't out tending her garden. Women in the neighborhood would often advertise in the paper when they would hold open house hours, inviting guests of their similar status to join them to talk and gossip. They did this because in the early 1900s, women were not thought of people who could live in the public sphere. That's where men belonged, where women, on the other hand, existed to occupy the domestic life, the home. A woman or several women eating out without a male companion meant something different than it does today. It was asking for trouble. It left them open to harassment and scorn. It wasn't something virtuous women did. So they came up with a system to meet one another in each other's parlors on certain days of the week to socialize, but they were still confined to this gilded cage. There have been multiple occasions when visitors have seen a distorted figure of a woman staring out the front window like she's longing to be a part of that life outside, her back turned to them, but when they go to look directly at her, it's as if she moves from view and has gone, like she was never there. <laughs> 